So I just want to show you um, an, an operating system called Ubuntu, and uh, this is um, this is it here. So in comparison to Windows and Mac operating systems, and what is the difference? The the basic difference you use a computer for basic computing, like going out online doing um, word processing or listening to music or even playing games um, Ubuntu has you covered in every way and the thing about Ubuntu is that it's free it's a free open source operating system and it is just as fast as any other operating system that's out there and in most cases it's actually faster and more stable than the other two that I've mentioned and the reason for this is there's a huge um, development team that work for free down through the years to make this operating system and uh, it they have made quite a, a, a GUI out of it so GUI is basically um, a graphical user interface so like any other operating system you get a browser on it and the browser they use on Ubuntu is Firefox so we'll just open um, Firefox there and just show you so this is the browser that they use you, you've seen me using this before but um, so anything that you want to install like the likes of Spotify you, you can do it through um, Ubuntu and that's just um, security measures. I'm just going out. To, uh, I have this installed on on. Um, agree. But uh, as I said, you you, you can um, you can download a, a anything you want um, that you you think you can need. And again, if you have help, if you if you need help with any of this. You, you 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 can get it and there's loads of communities out there um that um will help you with any of this stuff you know so um you know it, it's it's just it's the, just the exact same thing as the other two you know except you're not you don't have to pay for it but and, and as i said you should donate if you you feel you, you like it but um other than that you know use it it's it's just um the exact same thing speed wise you won't find anything slow about it at all um, it's it's just a great operating system really so next thing I'd like to show you there um, just to download hold on now and we'll open this open office so this is a word so you have all the the, the, the usual suspects for I know um, an office suit so you have word processor you have the spreadsheets the presentations the drawings software and maths formulas and base database you know all that kind of stuff and templates and all that um, so we'll just go into you know it's like it's like any other um, word processor you know you know, so and you can copy and paste on it and all that kind of stuff and so you know it's it's just that's basically what it does, you know. It's it's an operating system for a computer. So you have hardware, you need an operating system to run on it and why not use the cheap and the 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 one that's for free you know and and work your way along and 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 you know there's a little bit of a learning curve to some of the stuff that's in here the settings and all that but it's not anything different to your phones you can install this on android phones and everything so we move on and you have settings there to tweak your computer to do different things and software updates and backups and all that kind of stuff 
security and privacy, which you don't really need on a Ubuntu machine, it doesn't really get viruses. Now it can get a virus, but I have never seen a virus on, on Ubuntu. Um, I have it on a few different computers. I have it on laptops, I have it on desktops, and uh, it never causes any problems when I'm out online or anything like that. And I think that's got to do with the fact that these viruses and spyware and malware target the other two more so than they do this one because this one isn't used as much. Um, another thing there is something similar to the, the others is um, the file system. So you have documents, downloads, music, pictures, your public folders, your templates and videos and all that kind of stuff. And then your desktop, your app that you want to put on here in the in the in the actual desktop itself so i just wanted to show you to, to not so much to compare it to the other two because there really isn't any comparison because the other two are you have to pay for these operating systems like windows 10 and um the mac and you know unless you're using software that can only be used on macs or windows then there's no real point in having it if you're just doing basic computing, going out online and checking your emails and running Spotify or Netflix, if you want to, to run Netflix on Ubuntu, all you have to do is download um, Google Chrome. Just install it and then you can install your Google Chrome on that browser and you have access to all the videos and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, uh, as I said, the, the, the software you, you you can pretty much get where are we here so um ubuntu software center so you, you, this is a thing you now for say likes of um photoshop this is inkscape vector you can download this it's for free and it does the exact same thing as as um photoshop it's just that most people are not aware of it that it's out there and you have a media player there as well for audio and, and video and you know there's loads of things youtube downloaders and and anything that you can think of you just type it in here and see what you're looking for and go to the communities of ubuntu and any questions that you have you will find them out there and you see the big thing about this is that it is free you do not have to pay for it but um i do send them a few a few quid every now and then because it's well worth it to donate to it because they do wonderful work with this operating system and it's the, the one that I prefer to use because again it's the most stable and uh, I just like using it it's just a pleasure to use on, on if you had say the likes of an old laptop or desktop that you wanted to upgrade and you weren't um, too particular about what kind of software uh, if you don't have high-end software that you want to use and you're just using it for basic computing it's a great thing to install on a laptop or a desktop and the great thing about Ubuntu as well is that you do not have to install drivers it has all the drivers that you require for all the software that you're using on it another very important point to make there so um, I just thought I'd show it to you I have other videos there showing you how to download it and install it on 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 uh, on your your computers or um if you want to install it and have it on a USB flash drive I have those videos there as well. So um I just said I'd show it to you um it might be worth something to somebody out there. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.